Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a finance plan with me, I guess, in my leverage planner. In my last video, I noted to you all that I would be sharing kind of the way that I plan for my finances for the month. So we'll be doing this together. There is one of these um, finance planning sheets in each month um, in this leverage planner. And this planner is by The Budget Mom. This is what the spread looks like. Just give you guys an idea of what my last video was about in this planner. I did this plan with me. Um, and today we're going to go over this. So it's going to be pretty um, clean cut. We'll just start out by filling in all the different fields that we see here. So the month is July. My Y word is going to be home because I just purchased a home. My financial goals are to save more, um, create a home emergency fund. So I'm just going to say a home fund. My savings challenge is just going to be at least $400 in the month of July. Areas to cut spending, food. It, I feel like it's always food. Um, and I need to watch what I purchase um, for the home because I need to be very careful about how I, you know, kind of do things basically. So down here in this area, we have our totals. So I won't be able to fill that in until the, um, the end of the month. However, there are some things here like budgeted, ex budgeted expenses and budgeted income versus actual, I can punch all that in. So we'll do that here together. I am going to reference the bill layout that I have in this planner, which is my Louis Vuitton planner. I do have my bills out, so I need that as a part of my expense section. So I'm just going to try and get that out of the frame a little bit, just enough so I can reference it. There we go. Um, and I wanna pull up a calculator on my computer. So let's go ahead and get started um, because in my new home, my office is in a different space and the the um, HVAC system is down here. So once it gets to turn on, it gets really loud. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with my two. Well, actually, let's look at the calendar. All right, so I will get paid twice in the month of July. So what we're going to do is put in the dates of payment. So I'll be getting paid on the 11th of July and then on the 25th of July. And so what I'll do for the description is just put salary number one, salary number two. So budgeted is going to be basically what I see every um, oh my God, let me, let me open this up on my computer real quick. <clears throat> We're going to put the budget in amount, obviously. And then if anything changes, I am expecting a bonus this month. So, um, let me look. So it's going to probably change a little bit, but let me look here to look at my amount. Okay. So 1687. Okay. So this is the budgeted amount. This is what we're expecting each paycheck. Oops. I'm not going to account. I don't want to account for the bonus because I don't know how much it's going to be after taxes. I know the award amount, but I don't know what I'm actually going to see after taxes. So I don't want to really count for that right now. Um, so what we'll do is just put those two items there, okay? So that makes sense. So now we'll come down to our actual bills, our monthly expenses. I don't have rent or a mortgage payment this month. So we're just going to basically start out with Disney Plus, which is due on the first of the month usually. And then also some other stuff got taken out. <clears throat> My last ComEd bill. So I'll probably get charged twice for ComEd. Um, I know North Shore came out, 
where is the Con Ed one? Jeez, you would think that I'm over here. Okay, I see it now. All right, that, that came out June 30th though. So we're going to say yesterday. Okay, so we'll do Disney Plus and the due date is always the first of the month. The amount is always $12.99. So I'm just gonna list these now so I don't smear the stuff. And then the next thing was my student loan. That is always due on the second of the month. It is $125. And then this is kind of where North Shore came in. So I'm going to put gas. I'm going to say that it came out on the third. Because I'm pretty sure it did. And it was $63. The next thing is insurance. That is usually due on the 12th of the month. I don't know how much that is because I just canceled my renters and so my homeowner's insurance to kick in in combination with my auto. So I'm gonna leave that blank for right now because it's unknown. Then we have sell, which is always due the 18th of the month and it's 128 and 28 cent. Then we have HP Inc. That's always due also on the 18th of the month. And it's usually $5.30 after tax. Then we have Apple Care. I think I'm gonna cancel this. It's due, I always say that it's due the 19th of the month and it's always $5.99. Then we have Xfinity. And this is actually different. It's supposed to be $64, but I saw on in my account today when I was browsing around at my bills that it dropped a little, I think, because I have a credit. And it's actually, it's usually due on the 25th of the month, but for some reason it's due on the 23rd. So I'm gonna change that date to properly reflect and then also, I currently have two accounts with Xfinity, so I always have to toggle to my other one. And let's see how much. It is $59.88, so I save a few bucks. Okay, then we have the car note. I'm just going to put car, and that's usually always due on the 27th, and that's $242.44. And then um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put ComEd, that's unknown right now. Um, water bill won't, I won't get a water bill for a while. And then my garbage and sewage are going to be captured in my HOA. So that's all I have for the month. Um, so now I'll fill in the things that I know were actually paid. There's no difference. It was auto. And this one was also 125. I have to manually do these. Oh, here goes the fan. And then the gas was also paid. There's no difference. That it's auto pay. All right. So that's all I have for right now for those two items. So now let's do our budgeted income, which is 35, 62, 98. Um, and then total expenses, I'll have to do, here's what I'll do. Because I want to, and I don't know the due date, but I do want to put something in here. So let's, Let's go to Geico and see if my Geico will open. Oops. And if this fan comes on, I might just pause and let it run and then come back and just mash them together. Okay. So my auto
you know what? I see it. Ooh. Okay. Okay. This is what it is. 101.74 is the budgeted amount. And it is on auto. ComEd. I, I want to look at something because I I usually do budget billing. So I need to see if I have like a balance. Because if I have a balance, I'll know what is what. Okay. Give me a second, guys. Let's just say this is going to be 57. That's the best I could do right now. I'm just, and I'm not going to give it a due date because I don't know the due date for real. So let's get these expenses together for July and then everything else will fall in line. Okay, so our total expenses are estimate. Oh, you guys, our bill expenses are estimated to be at 801.62. Okay, so I'm gonna write that down on this sticky. Okay, I forgot, hello, I forgot gas. Um, so usually I average, so here, I'll do gas, car, um, Groceries, tolls, right? Is that what I usually do? I'm gonna look at my, my old budget binder to see what I used to account for. Yeah, gas, tolls, childcare. Right now, we're, we don't have child, we're not, we're not paying for childcare. Um, so that's not a thing. All right, so let's say I do 40, score. Let's say we do $160 for gas. That's $40 a week. Groceries, let's say that's still so much. I don't spend that much money on groceries. Um, I really don't. And then tolls, now that my route is different, Tolls are probably looking at like 38 bucks. Okay, so now that's the true, <laughs> that's the true. So let's add 57, oh, I'm sorry. Let's add 160 plus 200 plus 38. That's 398 plus 801, 62. 11.99, 62 is our budgeted expenses. So, that's for right now. So at the end of the month, I'll come in and I'll balance everything out to see where everything, you know, went, how everything went, okay? So, and then I guess, again, these fields too, all the way down here, I can't fill in until I get, you know, until we get our ending numbers. So daily spending, um, this is something I'm just gonna fill in with you guys while we're on the computer together or on the camera together, but um, I'll have to go back and see how much I spent for the dailies because I'm supposed to be putting my dollar amounts in here. So I'll just fill it. I want to fill in this monthly with you guys. So I guess what we'll do is this is kind of like a budget with me. This is the start and then I'll have to come in, come back at the end of the month, right? And balance everything out with you guys, right? Um, 
how can I improve my finances next month? Again, so this is another thing. I hope that we can see this. This is another thing down here. That is something I'll have to fill in at the end of the month. Um, priority debt progress. I don't really have anything I want to put in for right here. So that's pretty much it. My saving goal. I do have some though. So I want to save. What is it? Personal. Personal savings. Total goal amount. 400 gold date. 731 amount saved this month so even though this is like kind of one this looks like a chart that you're supposed to use to mark savings for certain sections or not certain sections but certain larger saving goals i'm still going to account for the personal saving goal that i want to have for what you call it for for the month so the, another goal that i have is for christmas Christmas 2020, my saving goal is $500, gold date, I'd say 12-1 amount saved this month, I'll put that in because I have $50 in there currently. And then I guess home fund, and I'll renew this every year probably, my home fund Let's do the same, right? Five hundred dollars, um, gold date, twelve thirty one. So we'll see how much we can put away towards the home fund this month. So that looks like it's pretty much it for the month of July. Let me see if I can squeeze all this in the frame. Okay, let's see. So as I shared with you all, we went ahead and looked at my monthly income. We jot it down what my monthly expenses for this month are going to be. And then we added our total income versus our total expenses. Groceries, $200 is pretty decent because I usually spend anywhere from 50 to 60 a week, but really I've been more on the lower end. Um, and that's just budgeted. Like I always have room for more. So again, just kind of going over what my why word for this month is, it's going to be my home because this is the month that I purchased my first home in. Um, and then financial goals is just to simply save more, create a home fund. I'd like to save at least $400 this month in areas that I can cut spending in is food. That's always going to be an area I can cut spending in. It's like, I feel like that's kind of always been a thing for me. I love to eat and I love to eat very well. So sometimes me wanting to eat very well over, over arcs my decision or my, my goal to save money. But anyway, for right now, this is what everything is looking like. I plan to come back at the end of the month and check in with you all so you guys can see like how well this stuff went. We can really look at my daily spending. And I really like, in particular, these sorts of sections because when you mark down your daily spending, whether you're doing cash envelopes or if you're just spending off card and cash or just card or whatever, however you spend money, it's really a good thing when you look at something like this to see your problem areas. So from here, I've done this before in order to know that food is usually an area where I need to cut spending. Um, so this month, maybe something new will come up and I'll be like, oh, why well, I need to cut spending here? Can't really cut spending in certain areas like gas and tolls because those are things that I need and I require to get around and get to work. Um, but if I ever feel like I've kind of been doing some excessive driving, I can kind of revamp that, right? So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. And I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.